Hi, this is Julie Enstall, and this is an episode of Learn, Grow, Share. And today I am sharing with you one of my very favorite recipes. Um, you'll love it if you love scallops, um, maybe not if you don't. <laughs> so even people that have not liked seafood have liked this recipe. So uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. First, I thawed out, I had frozen scallops that I bought at Trader Joe's and I just ran them under cold water until they were thawed. And now I'm putting them on paper towels just to dry them out because you want them nice and dry. All right, just like so. Oh, I'm so excited about this recipe. Um, you know, scallops are a little bit expensive, uh, but they are so worth it. Uh, this is like a real treat in our house. And we do have this probably at least once a month. Um, I get a lot of requests for this one, so. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do, I have here um, a third of a cup of, and I'll, I'll tell you, I don't normally measure this, but since I put a third of a cup in the recipe, that's what I'm using. Uh, you might need a little more or a little less, it depends on how many scallops you have, but I'm just going to coat each one of these scallops in a little bit of this flour. Now you can use all-purpose flour. I happen to be using a gluten-free flour, which is called cup for cup. So that is what I'm using. And you know, it depends on how big your scallops are. These are pretty nice size. Um, how many can actually come into the party <laughs> in this here bowl? So, uh, but I'm gonna dredge each one of these in a little bit of flour before I cook them. And one of the reasons for this is it thickens up the sauce nicely. And this sauce is super simple and it is so good. Okay, all of these are gonna fit, this is great. Um, so I'm just kind of spinning them around. You just want a light coat on each, each scallop. All right, all right, now let me show you what we're gonna do at the stove. And I'm gonna make the sauce actually while these scallops are cooking. All right, so I've got my skillet on a medium high heat and um, I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of olive oil and I'm also gonna use about two tablespoons of butter and the butter just is necessary. And you know what, I use grass-fed butter, I feel really good about it. Um, and it just makes this taste so good. So I've got my scallops still dredged here and uh, they've been like sitting in the flour and I'm gonna shake them off a little bit before I put them in. And these cook pretty quickly. So you only need to cook them about two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes per side. And um, you, want, you, want, you want some, you may have a non a nonstick skillet and that would be great, but I would still put in um, some butter and uh, olive oil when cooking this. So I'm just gonna let these, let this uh, butter and oil heat up together. And when you put butter and olive oil in at the same time, it uh, decreases the smoke point. If you just use butter, uh, it could burn fairly quickly. So using the olive oil helps get the flavor of the butter, but maybe not burn. And then I'm just gonna start to slowly um, put in each one of these little flour dredged scallops. Now I did not even season this flour and you'll find that the sauce is so good that you really don't even need to. And there's really only one spice in this sauce and you can probably guess what it is by the name of the recipe. It is curried scallops. Now I used to serve this over um, jasmine rice which was very good. Uh, but now, if you've been watching any of these videos, you know I'm a huge fan of the cauliflower rice. So that's what I've been using. All right, so these are all in the pan. And I just kind of want to make sure that um, sometimes if your stove is not level, uh, sometimes the oil can pool in one spot. So you kind of want to make sure that it shifts around a little bit. 
All right, so now that my scallops are going and they're doing great, you can hear them sizzling. Sometimes they stick to the pan a little bit, so don't worry, because once you get the sauce on, it really doesn't matter. But you do want them browned on the bottom and you want them cooked through, but you still want them a little bit soft on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna make this sauce and I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. All it is, is a third of a cup, I'm sorry, three fourths of a cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna put in the juice of one lemon. Get my handy little juicer here. I use this thing every morning. I go through uh, so many lemons. If you've watched my water video, you know, I'm spraying it all over the place. You know I go through a lot of lemons. But I'm gonna put the juice of a lemon. All right, that's it. I'm gonna put in one quarter of a cup of half and half. and one teaspoon of curry powder, and that's it. One teaspoon of curry powder. Now, okay, these are about ready to flip, so that's it. Now, you're just gonna stir this up with a fork, or if you have a little whisk, that would be great. Um, but this is your sauce, and this is so good. So, I'm gonna serve this with some, um, asparagus and all I'm going to do with that is steam it. All right now some of these are a little more brown on the bottom. Not sure if you can see these. Let's see if we can bring you over here. So you can see some of these are browned pretty nicely and they do sometimes they stick a little bit and like I said it's okay. I still want all of that goodness on the bottom. but I don't want to overcook them. If you overcook scallops, they get really rubbery. So uh, try not to overcook your scallops. All right. So I'm gonna let them finish up for about another minute or two on this side. And I'm gonna show you how um, I plate this. And I think you're gonna really like it. Okay, so the scallops are done, and all I'm gonna do is put them on a plate so I can finish up the sauce. And then I will coat them in the sauce, and I am telling you, you know, there's a lot of people that can make scallops look really pretty. They usually have a nonstick pan. I I'm not one of those people, but I can make scallops that taste really good. <laughs> and once they have the sauce on them, they're good, they're fine. All right, so I took all of the scallops out of the pan and just put them on a plate to hold on to uh, while I make this sauce. Now, I wanna keep all of this uh, kind of goodness on the bottom, so I'm gonna turn the heat back on. I put it on, it's got half and half in it, so I don't want that to curdle, um, but I will go ahead and turn the heat back up now, and I'm gonna scrape up all these little bits on the bottom because this is going to be add just better flavor to the sauce and this is going to thicken up too because I've got that uh, cup for cup flour now even if you used regular flour this will still thicken up but that cup for cup has cornstarch in it so that is a thickener and uh, I'm going to let this cook for a little bit and scrape these little bits off the bottom just like that. Now, in the meantime, while I'm letting this finish up, um, and this is only gonna take a few minutes for this sauce, I am going to heat up some frozen cauliflower rice in the microwave. I'm gonna do two cups and give each person a cup serving, and I'm gonna put these scallops and sauce over that rice, and I tell you, you won't even know that it's not regular rice. It's just that good. Now I've also got um, asparagus steaming and I have a steamer basket in here. I trimmed off the ends of the asparagus and put them in here and that's it. And I'm only gonna serve this with butter and salt. So once the asparagus is cooked through, um, I will 
add some butter and some salt and that'll be our side dish. All right, so we are almost ready to go. This is so awesome. I love how simple this recipe is. So I've got the asparagus in here and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of butter and it's already done. It really doesn't take much time. I've still got the uh, cauliflower rice cooking. It's got about 28 seconds left. I put the butter in and I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt and that is it for the asparagus. So I'm just gonna toss that around. I've turned down the heat, but I'm, about, I'm just gonna turn it off now. All right, this sauce is done. Now what I'm gonna do is put the scallops back in and let them coat. My microwave just went off, so I know that my cauliflower rice is done. So all the components are ready, and we are almost ready to eat. Okay, so here's how we do this. I've got the cauliflower rice here, and I'm just gonna put half of it on each plate. Here, I'm gonna just go ahead and fix up one so you can see how this looks. Now, we like scallops in here, so you could probably do this for more than just two people. Um, my daughter's not a huge fan, so I'm, uh, I've got some rotisserie chicken that she's gonna eat. She will eat some of the asparagus. Um, and I put a little bit more of the sauce on top. And these asparagus look wonderful. All right, and there you have it. So this is the curried scallops over cauliflower rice with asparagus and dinner is ready. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later. Now, if you want this recipe, go ahead and just leave me a comment in the comment section and um, I'll send it to you, okay? That's all you gotta do. And I hope you enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.